So the example says, what is the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 60 and 72? So the highest common factor of 60 and 72 is essentially the largest number that both 60 and 72 are divisible by. And the lowest common multiple is essentially the smallest number that is in both the 60 and 72 times table. The way we go about answering this question is we use a factor tree to first write both numbers as a product of their prime factors. So if we start with 60, remember we're looking for two numbers that multiply to make 60. So two numbers I can think of are 4 and 15. Then we need to check if any of these numbers are prime numbers. Neither 4 or 15 are prime, so we carry on factorising. So two numbers that multiply to make 4, we have 2 and 2. Both of these are prime numbers, so we circle them. Now two numbers that multiply to make 15, we have 5 and 3. And again, both of these are prime numbers, so we circle them. Now we can write 60 as a product of its prime factors. So 60 equals to 2 times 2 times 5 times 3. Now let's write 72 as a product of its prime factors. So two numbers that multiply to make 72, we can have 2 and 36. Check which of these are prime. 2 is a prime number, so we circle it. Now two numbers that multiply to make 36, we can have 6 and 6. Both of these are not prime, so we carry on factorising. So two numbers that multiply to make 6, we can have 2 and 3. Both of these are prime, so we circle them. Similarly, for this 6, we've got 2 multiplied by 3, which gives 6. Both of these are prime, so we circle them. So 72 can be written as the product of its prime factors in the following way. So 72 equals to 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. So what we've got here is 60 and 72 written as the product of their prime factors in order from smallest to biggest. And then we've got a Venn diagram which we're going to fill out to help us work out the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 60 and 72. The first thing we do is we label our Venn diagram with the two numbers we have. And it doesn't matter which way round we label them. So I'm going to label this circle as 60 and this circle as 72. We look at the product of prime factors for each number and we see which numbers are common and then we place those numbers within the Venn diagram. Starting with the 2 here, there's a 2 that's common in both 60 and 72, so that can be placed in the middle of our Venn diagram. This region represents numbers that are common in 60 and 72. Once we've placed the number 2 here, we cross out the 2s in both 60 and 72. Then we look at the next number. So 2 again is common in both 60 and 72, so place that in the middle again. And then cross out the pairs that is common. Then we look at the next number, so in 60 we've got a 3 here, so there's a 3 here as well. So we can place a 3 in the middle. And then we cross out the pair. Then we look at the next number, so 5 is only within 60, it's not common in 72. So 5 goes on its own in this region. These numbers represent numbers that are only within 60. So we've done 5, so we cross it out. Now we look at the rest of the numbers in 72. So 2, we can't match it with any other number in 60. So 2 goes on its own here. And then we cross it out. And 3, we can't match it with any other number in 60. And so 3 goes on its own here. And we cross it out. To work out the highest common factor, we multiply all of the numbers within this middle region. These are the numbers that are common in the product of prime factors for 60 and 72. So the highest common factor, or HCF, is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 times 3 is equal to 12. So we've found that the highest common factor of 60 and 72 is 12. 
So to work out the lowest common multiple of 60 and 72, we multiply all of the numbers within the Venn diagram. The lowest common multiple of both numbers is going to be equal to 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and then multiplied by 3. The lowest common multiple is equal to, so 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, 60 times 2 is 120, and 120 times 3 is 360. So we've worked out the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of both 60 and 72.